Hey there, curious minds. Today, we're diving into a speedy showdown, myelinated versus unmyelinated nerves. First up, myelinated nerves. Picture this. The Schwann cell, a hardworking glial cell, wraps around the axon like a cozy blanket, forming the myelin sheath. This insulation lets nerve impulses zip along at lightning speed. How fast, you ask? Think of it like your internet on fiber optics. Here's an example. All preganglionic fibers of the autonomic nervous system are myelinated. Plus, in the somatic nervous system, any nerve fiber thicker than 1 micron in diameter is likely myelinated. But why so fast? Myelinated nerves have a super high density of voltage-gated sodium channels. These channels act like express lanes for electrical impulses, making communication quick and efficient. Now let's switch gears to unmyelinated nerves. These axons are still covered by Schwann cells, but without that snazzy myelin sheath. Imagine trying to stream a movie on dial-up internet. Yep, it's slower. Unmyelinated nerves are found in places like all post-ganglionic fibers of the autonomic nervous system. In the somatic nervous system, if the nerve fiber is thinner than 1 micron, it's unmyelinated. Why the slowdown? Unmyelinated nerves have fewer voltage-gated sodium channels, meaning impulses take a more leisurely stroll down the axon. So, to sum it up, myelinated nerves are the speed demons of the nervous system thanks to their myelin sheath and high density of sodium channels. Unmyelinated nerves take it slower, with no myelin and fewer channels. Pretty cool, right? Next time you're racing to finish a project, think about your myelinated nerves getting that info to your brain at top speed. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more speedy science.